Welcome back. So last time I was busy cutting uh, these pieces for the hangers for the rotor pedals. And so there's um, three different pieces and four different um, hangers. So all those bits are now cut. And meanwhile, uh, Devin was busy uh, cutting the foam for the bracing for this uh, lower elevator skin mold. So now I'm moving on to drilling the uh, required holes and uh, just creating the notches and finishing off the ends and such of these different pieces uh, for the rudder pedal hangers. So as you can see here, I switched over to the 3 16 inch uh, end mill and just rounding off the edges there um, on either side. And then I actually just used the bandsaw just to cut that last little bit off in the middle and then ran it on the belt sander for a little bit to smooth it all out. So it's not all, um, it's not always good to do everything on the machine. Sometimes it's quicker just to do things by hand. Um, but the machine is really good for you know locating all the holes and doing everything accurately like that. Uh, but here you can see is an, uh, one of the other ones there, just about to start, just sort of rounding that uh, corner off. And if you've seen me using our machine before for milling metal, you know it's not exactly designed for doing that. It's uh, you know too big of a machine to really be doing this, and we don't have any sort of uh, lubrication set up for when you're cutting metal. So I just have to take things slow and uh, run at you know the set feed rates and stuff in order to get the best result um, and sometimes yeah like here I'm just putting a bit of oil down to lubricate the cuts but you know if you get the feed rate and the spindle speed just right uh, you can cut through aluminum without sort of any lubrication without getting too hot or the bit um, the bit going dull but again it's a lot of trial and error to figure out exactly what that uh, formula is but I'm getting better at it so these four bits are the upper pieces of each of the rudder pedal arms and so they had two holes in them um, for bolts that go through and there was also um, some cutouts that you'll see in a little bit. And these are the lower ends and those slots there are for where um, an actuator bar for the actual brakes uh, goes through that joins from the pedal um, to the brake cylinder or actually via um, a bell crank. And he's kind of like a mock-up of one of them um, sort of laid out now. So the pedal attaches there at the bottom there on the right hand side of the screen and those different uh, holes there are for uh, bell cranks um, that you'll see later on for the uh, brake cylinder. And so here you can see this is on one of the upper arms there I'm cutting out um, where uh, this sleeve bearing is going to sit in there. And now I'm starting out on the uh, quadrants. So this is a 4130 chromoly steel uh, plate. It's about 0.16 of an inch thick and I've already cut the holes and uh, just with the reamer right now and those are the holes that allow you to position um, the rudder pedals to suit um, how far away you want them from you. And next up, uh, this is, uh, Jeff's been working there back in the fuselage so after he put the roof braces in place he's put a mixture of, um, of resin and micro there and he's sort of just uh, smoothing in where all everything was bonded together on the ends there by the door frames. And this is a little bit after that where he's come back through and he's uh, sanded that all nice and smooth uh, in preparation for putting uh, a layup over that uh, just to sort of close everything out. And again, all this wasn't really supposed to happen the way it is, but the way we ended up doing the hinges on the doors kind of uh, forced this after the fact. And uh, in t terms of production, this is something that wouldn't be required because um, the um, braces would just basically integrate the way they were originally designed. Uh, anyway, back here you can see kind of uh, cutting the quadrant here, and I haven't quite figured out the right speeds for cutting this 4130 uh, when it's laying on the wood there. Um, so it was getting a little bit hot, as you could see. Uh, anyway, uh, Devin uh, got this one uh, almost ready in that. So there's a bit of foam, or a b bunch of bits of foam laying on the top of that mold, and then uh, carbon fiber laid over the top of that, ready to be bonded into place. And he's uh, back in the fuselage now, so Jeff's done those layups. And he's got uh, peel ply over there just to keep things all nice and smooth. The peel ply, you know, does a great job of just sort of smoothing out all the transitions. And after about a day of work, I've got these quadrants done. So, well, actually, it took me a day to sort of do all four of them. But here's um, the first two. They're all done. And they came out pretty well. I need to do a little, little bit of handwork with a file just to take the edges off there. Uh, but here's an, one of the other ones going. So I'll start out with um, a small... Uh, just regular drill bit to drill a pilot hole and then I use a step drill to drill it up and then I go on to a quarter inch bit to sort of clean it out and finish it off um, with a quarter inch reamer to do all those holes 
So it was, you know, a bit time consuming. And of course, if we had a water jet or a laser cutter, this would be done in no time. But we don't, and I didn't really want to wait for someone else to do it for me this time. And in the background, there's always other projects going on that you don't get to see always. So this is another thing I've been working on. This is a bracket um, that's going to attach for the gas strut to hold the door open. And I've got one, obviously, for this door and one for the other door. And those are just uh, 50 thou thick um, uh, chromoly 4130 steel. And uh, this door is going to have a layup over the top of that of carbon fiber. And then the bracket will go over the top of that. So it'll look neat and tidy when it's done. And uh, this is the bracket. Uh, I just made these out of some angle aluminum. I just cut them to shape and got some little uh, weld mounts in there. They're going to be glued on and then laid up over the top. But that's basically going to be bonded there on the inside of the door frame there in the fuselage. Uh, those The weld mount brackets will be and then the, the threads will just be trimmed to length. Uh, and then so the, the strut will attach to that, the gas strut will attach to that and the other end to the door. So this is kind of what it looks like. So this this will be the end that's on, on the uh, door frame there. And there's your gas strut. And then that's the end that's going to be on the door. And now, uh, you know, we've still got to, you know, I've ordered these struts, um, but we're not sure if they're going to have, have the right uh, force on them yet. We'll have to wait and see. So here's a bit of a summary of what I did for the last three days. So there's the three quadrants there, or three of them, and the other one's just over there, you'll see. There's the three, uh, or the four pedals there, all laid out and, um, you know, drilled and trimmed, and one of them's got bushings in the bottom there, so they're ready to be welded up. And uh, these are the bushings I ordered from McMaster now. Um, we were going to use eye glides, but decided to use these um, oil oiled bushings instead, much better fit, more accurate. So basically the quadrant sort of goes through there, through that bushing, but you'll see it all uh, come together probably over the next week or so. But I've got to get this stuff welded up now. And uh, meanwhile also this was the um, that other mold that got laid up for the second side of the lower um, skin for the elevators, because so, we had a left one and a right one, and that's what it looks like on the top. So that obviously got the bracing and stuff um, bonded in with the uh, glass that you saw uh, earlier on where it was prepped for that just needs to be trimmed around the outside edge and then just to prove there's the other one so there is two <laughs> not just pretending and here's the plug for the main spar for the four plane and uh, it's been all wax now so Devin got it started there with um, just gluing down the rubber profile and once that's done it'll be ready to pull the mold off of that one and back on the straight tanks, uh, Jeff has the, the fixture here that's going to um, plumb into the back wall of the tank there. And you see he's attached um, a bit of aluminum um, regular tube to that. So that's where the warm uh, fuel is going to come back from the heat exchanger and uh, heat keep the fuel in the tanks uh, nice and warm. And also, um, you know, have the added bonus of keeping the engine a little bit cooler. And lastly, Jeff got the peel ply removed from where he did these uh, layups there on the hinge bosses. So those look nice and smooth now. So once that's all sort of painted or whatever, it'll look nice and tidy. And just to mention one more time, you know, when, when it comes to production, if we redesign the doors to have the external sort of hinges and the clamshell, none of these, um, this layup work, this manual work um, would have to be done. So this, you know, because it's been really time consuming. But anyway, we're making good progress and um, just pushing forward towards when we can actually uh, bond the, or sorry, post-cure the fuselage, which is probably still a month or more away, but at least we're making good progress uh, every day. So uh, that's our update for this week, and um, thanks again for watching.